I think when it comes to communicating injuries with coaches and parents, the follow-up of that injury is very important. So right now without players' health, everything's happened via word of mouth. If a kid is, say, in high school, that coach may let the kid handle the communication. We think this is a huge mistake. Kid come limping in, uh, in home from practice. Mom wasn't notified. She wants to know why she wasn't notified that her kid, you know, got a ride home and he's limping when no one communicated to her. That communication is very key. If the coach would have just called or text the parent or emailed the parent saying, hey, Johnny, you know, got tangled up today in practice. He's limping. We've gotten some care to him. The athletic trainer looked at him or you should get some care. That mom felt like she was communicated and that no one was trying to hide anything from her. And I think that's really the biggest kind of gap in communication is that when things happen and coaches are afraid to communicate what happened and when because they feel like there's some liability there when it's really not. When you are having open communication around what happened and when, it goes over way better with the parent when they felt like someone reached out to communicate with them. Yeah. And I think that's what our app does at the very onset. That injury happens, we communicate to the parent that this happened and that if it's in our system, it's not a life-threatening injury or it wouldn't have been documented <laughs> at that time. So we want to document injuries that are at the onset that aren't life-threatening. So the ankle sprain, maybe you know the kid had some knee issues or maybe a potential concussion. We want to make sure that's documented, mom was notified, and now they can have a follow-up. And then we instruct the coach to follow up. Send a message through our system, ask how Johnny's doing. Uh, you know, did they have any, what did the doctor say? We want to make sure that that communication happens ongoing throughout the entire return to play process. That parent feels a lot better and, you know, there's no negligence that can be, you know, thought of when that communication happens.